um, and then white uh, ethnicity percentage wise their number going down slightly year by year basis from 2008 to 2016 now what percentage of u.s school overall u.s school st uh, students are illegal this i found an article online it says that um around 23 percent of um, the all public school students in 2015 were from an immigrant household these are not all illegals total immigrant household compared to 11% in 1990 and 7% in 1980. So again, you know, immigrants who are people who were not born in U.S. Okay. California has the largest percentage of immigrant students in public schools at 48%. So 48% uh, students in uh, California schools are from immigrant households and then it talks about the um, school districts and where the most of these students are um, so this is a very important slide that one in eight students have undocumented parents now the parents might be undocumented but you know kids might be born here but this is um, you know very very important number and let's go a little bit more in detail um, around 250,000 undocumented children between the age of 3 and 17 are enrolled in California public schools this uh, report was released I believe in 2015 let's check back yeah no actually 2017 but again you know these are estimates and uh, this is again a foundation the 74 million dot org um, you can read more on their website um, three times as many california students so Undocumented children, 250,000 in California public schools, but then um, 750,000 students whose parents are undocumented. So that means the kids might be born here. And then um, students who are undocumented, they participate in federally Federal Deferred Action for Childhood Revival, DACA program. And... Uh, <sighs> that program is part of a family where both undocumented and legal residents I see so both the parents uh, part of a family with both undocumented and legal residents um, there are a lot of school districts who are adopting these sanctuary school policies where they are not they won't be sharing the student data with federal agencies this slide talks about where what percentage you know where these are coming from 68 percent of the undocumented immigrants moved from uh, Mexico to United States and then other countries you can see uh, 8% Vietnam 1% South Korea 2% China 3% India 3% Philippines 4% then Honduras Guatemala Guatemala 4% and El Salvador 4% so these are huge numbers then this talks about you know briefly what is DACA program which was enacted in 2012 um, to allow undocumented immigrants who were brought to US as children to continue to pursue their education um, and again you know this is a very hot topic DACA and then along with that the dream act of California they're also called dreamers too um, very hot topic these days that how the debates are shaping out in Washington um, Democrats are very aggressively pushing 
<coughs> to give these DACA students legal status. Um, let's keep going. This slide talks about um, from a newspaper, Mercury News, and the why more undocumented students in California are pursuing grad programs um, or actually undergrad programs also. And again, you know, this talks about DACA and DREAM Act, where now if they go to school here for three years, uh, then these students will be eligible to compete um, for um, scholarship financial aid and they will also have they won't have to pay actually international student fee they will be paying in-state tuition fee and then this talks about um, around 74,000 students at UC Cal State and community colleges they received waivers to pay them a discounted rate um, this article I believe was published in 2016 so these are approximately you know 2015 16 numbers and then again it talks about um, the UC data the number of undergrad and grad students receiving the discounted in-state tuition went from 2000 increased annually from 2002 to 2012 um, which is again you know in line with and then also state of California actually um, will go into action get to that slide um, this article talks about how these are you know these kids are paying for their schools I mean what kind of job opportunities they may have after their graduation some of them they said they're setting up GoFundMe pages again you know I mean this is you guys can read more um, but universities um, and community colleges they actually have special departments uh, to help out these DACA students um, or undocumented students um, then state of California actually and even some other states they in 2000 I believe this was done in 2015 16 yeah starting January 1st 2016 there were 40 professions where uh, state of California allowed undocumented immigrants to get professional licenses again you know this article doesn't go into too much detail that if they how they will be eligible to work what kind of jobs they can do can they apply for state jobs or federal jobs or only private jobs um, because m our understanding is that if these uh, are still undocumented even though you subsidize their education you make them eligible to get uh, you know these licenses how are they be going to entering in workforce if they don't have proper protections um, so that's something you guys can read more about and then this mm, talk article talks about what are the benefits to the state economy uh, why these decisions were made um, again we don't know the full details it says that 24% um, of the community colleges students had uh, our immigrant background and in United States there are 42 million immigrants making rich economic and social contributions to our community again you know we're not talking about all these are illegals these are just um, you know numbers and let's keep going then this was an article on Fox News published in June uh, last year June 20 2017 where it talks about um, how University of California was favoring illegal immigrants over out-of-state Americans because they had set up some special scholarship funds for them so this says that um, the university uh, UC system 20 million um, oh I see it says the regions of UC system recently instituted um, regions policy to 21 uh, 2009 in response to state lawmakers threatening to withhold the university system uh, nearly 20 million if school officials didn't cap the number of out-of-state American 
uh, students but uh, the out of state student I mean body they say it's like 18 percent on most campuses but again you know this is not very relevant right now let's keep going um, there are around 37 illegal immigrants studying in the UC system and then also the same assembly bill AB 540 the state residents uh, for tuition purposes it does uh, allow these Immig uh, undocumented immigrants who are under DACA protection or uh, illegals, they won't be paying out-of-state or international